In the previous example, we converted from binary to decimal using the division method. This time, I'm going to convert these binary numbers into octal and hexadecimal. Then we'll use the division method to convert those octal and hexadecimal numbers into decimal and see how that works as well. To convert directly from a binary real number to an octal real number, I can just look at blocks of three as usual, but I'll be moving outwards from my binary point. So I get 110 is 6 in octal, and 011 is 3 in octal. I will do the same thing for second number in hexadecimal, but I'll be looking at blocks of 4, again moving out from the decimal point. So 1011 is B, and 1011 is B. So, to convert 6.3 from octal to binary, I would first convert the 6. 6 in octal will turn out to just be 6 in decimal as well, so that's not terribly interesting. Now I have this 3. So I'm going to take my 3, and I'm going to divide it by the base, which is 8. And this will give me 0.375. I don't have any more digits in here to pull in, so that's it. I'm just going to copy the 0.375 in after the 6. And that will be my decimal value which matches what we had before. For the second one, I have negative b point b in hexadecimal. And I want to convert this to decimal. I will start with the whole number part, which is negative 11 in decimal. And now I have this b. b is 11 in decimal, so I will get 11. And I will divide that by my base, which is 16. If we're not familiar with what 11 divided by 16 is, then maybe we'd like to do some long division. So 6 times 16 will give me 96. Hold down a second zero. So 16 times 8 will be 32 more than that, 96, or 128. Seven times 16 will give me 112. And then 16 times 5 will give me 80. So 11 divided by 16 gives me 0.6875. And since there's no more digits in here to pull in, I'm done. I can just copy my 0.6875 into my 11. And it turns out that's what we got before as well.